wild scene over at Red Rock Casino over the weekend. Incident there left two people, likely Red Rock employees, stabbed and an assailant shot. It happened all early Saturday morning, Friday and a Saturday. 25-year-old Shane Sussman allegedly turned a knife on two security guards. A third one shot him. The Two of the three are in critical condition at UMC, the latest I've seen. Uh, Station Casino is offering grief counseling to those on staff who need it. I guess it was happening at the Rouge Room. That's what one eyewitness said. And uh, just got yeah, on there. there. Yeah, man. I'm surprised it doesn't happen more, or maybe it does and we just don't hear about it, but... I think that's the case, to be honest. Yeah. I think that um, at their casinos, they don't want any of this out. They own the city. Pretty much. And uh, it was, it was kind of shocking that this made national news. It's it's everywhere. It's yeah. on Yahoo News and all of the things. That, MSN. Uh, <laughs> all the Whoa. other things that you're, yeah. you don't know how to change your homepage and you just land on it. You're <laughs> like, wow, it's there all too? All the time. Yeah, Good yeah, yeah. God. Man. Very sad. I'm, I'm glad that uh, uh, from what I hear and understand, uh, the two people that were stabbed um, are going to be okay. That's good. Yeah. Good to hear. Um, on second thought, stay right there. The plea deal handed to 9-11 mastermind Khalid Sheikh Mohammed and two other co-conspirators, co-conspirators rather, easy for me to say, yanked by Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin over the weekend saying a decision of that magnitude should only come from the top. So he said, hey, person that gave him that plea deal, you're off the case. Hand in your badge and your gun. Yay! I'm the one that gets to decide That's when this person who has not been huge. given a trial will be out. Will be out. I think the problem is, is they, a lot of the information they got from him was during torture. And wow. that, that doesn't really, uh, that, that's going to be a complicated court case. <laughs> so, but if you never go well, to they court. they took my fingers. Yeah. <laughs> if you never go to court, you don't have to deal with it. Who was there, the Punisher, <laughs> trying to get a bunch of information from him? <laughs> yeah, so I Man. thought that was a, a little bit of a surprise. We told you last week, I was like, wow, he's got a plea deal. Huh, 23 years, and we're at plea deal level already? Wow, that took that long? Uh, and now, no, we actually don't. Wow. Uh, if you're wondering who makes up the uh, people moving to Las Vegas today, mostly coming from Los Angeles, according to new data from U-Haul, first half of the year, L.A., Phoenix, and the Bay Area wrap up the top three for where they're coming from. And then Las Vegas and Phoenix are the top two uh, cities that are moving to Los Angeles. Very so, interesting. Uh, L.A., people are coming to and fro mm -hmm. when it comes to Austin, Vegas, or whatever the case. You know, they come here and maybe they realize they can't hang at 117 degrees. Maybe. Get out. <laughs> Had enough of you. Uh, Mr. Beast Empire seems to be taking a massive hit lately. One of the members of his staff accused of grooming younger viewers just fired his Las Vegas Beast game shoot that happened last month at Allegiant Stadium, making headlines for its inability to take care of countless contestants taking part. They weren't given their medication. They lost their underwear. There were hospitalizations. Men were tackling women and injuring them because there were feats of strength. And women are facing men in these yeah. feats of strength, what do you expect to happen? Right. All to get their hands on a $5 million prize, which by the way, um, a plot twist, what they did in Vegas wasn't even for the, it was like a qualifier for the $5 million prize contest. Your guy punches his girl for five mil, maybe. No, 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 punches his girl for a chance at five yeah. mil. Nuts. He's also come forward and apologized for using slurs on camera when he was a teen. So things are going really well for Mr. Beast right now, which is great because I don't want to buy Feastables anymore. So this works out really well. <laughs> and if you're wondering, by the way, how the political situation is going, third party candidate RFK Jr. came out yesterday and admitted he dumped a dead bear cub he hit with his car in New York Central Park back in 2014 <laughs> and funny. staged it so it looked like it came from there. And he admitted that in an interview with Roseanne. <laughs> It, this is this is politics. This is America right here. This is real life. <laughs> like Rush is like, wow, we don't even have to do anything. This is great. Wow. <laughs> They're taking care of it themselves. They are doing it to themselves. Literally hit a bear cub, left it in Central Park. That was funny. Made the news. And admits to Roseanne. And now he's like a legit third party candidate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Las Vegas Aviators swept the weekend, took the series against Albuquerque on the road now for a six-game series against Salt Lake starting tomorrow. Paseo Verde Little League. They uh, fell to Montana in the Little League West Regional. 7-1 was the final there. They head to the elimination bracket now to face Wyoming. That is today at noon. Best of luck to the boys. Meanwhile, in uh, the Olympics... Where, where, what happened here? Oh, there we go. There it is. It scared me for a second. It's having a Monday. Computer's having a me Monday. Me too. Uh, USA Women 
beat Germany 87-68 in the Paris Olympics group phase. And now we enter the quarterfinals. Wednesday versus Nigeria. USA men's basketball defeated Puerto Rico 104-83 on Saturday in the Paris Olympics group phase. Uh, their quarterfinals is tomorrow afternoon versus Brazil. And Vegas native Vashti Cunningham, she came within a tiebreaker of getting a medal in the high jump. Finished fifth because she hit the bar four times and the other women hit the bar three times. It's I wa I'm, When I say I was knee deep in Olympics this, this weekend, I was knee deep and I learned so much about sports. I had no idea like th how things worked in yeah. a lot of different sports. Very confusing. I watched, um, I only watched one match. It wasn't even in America. It was uh, China versus Sweden and ping pong. <laughs> It was awesome. Did you way. did you watch uh, Noah Lyles? That was uh, no the terrible call though. Whoever the announcer was, oh, fumbled that yeah, so you, hard. You jumped so hard on Jamaica, and we were. And even though even Noah went up to Jamaica, and was like, I think you got it. And then he, it was uh, the no, most incredible. I think you don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what a great. And then uh, Shikari, which I've been calling her Shikari for a very long time. But apparently, it's Shikari. Second place. I wish she would have got first because she's. Uh, I love her. But what a great, what a great weekend. I we got, a lot, we got a lot of golds this this weekend. Oh my god, we are we have caught up with China almost. Swimming uh, was killing it. Seventy two medals overall, the most of any country. Uh, China in the lead with twenty one goals. We have nineteen. We were far behind them before. Right. Hand. Uh, but yeah, just you know, racking up the silvers, rack, rack, racking up the uh, bronze, and we've caught up with the gold. So we will see as the games roll on the last week of the games this week. Las Vegas weather. Fall might be 20 days away, but it's far, far, far away from here. It's excessive heat warning. It's 83 right now, high of 109.